Hey, chill pal Fernbark, back up here at Morningwood finally. I don't think I've been up here for about two months. You can see, I, you can see, I still have just a little bit of snow up here. We had about ten inches in this area during our big giant snowmageddon a couple weeks ago. Uh, getting up here was no trouble. Right now, the temperature is about twenty-nine degrees. It's pretty chilly, uh, but it's, I'm supposed to get this all day long, and it's supposed to be in the mid forties, which is going to be pretty cool. Just a little bit of snow left on the bottom of my panel, so I got that knocked off. My batteries inside my shed, which by the way is still standing, which is super cool, uh, didn't aren't working. So I had to jump over to my auxiliary set of batteries, which are still got enough voltage that now I'm back into making power again. I turned my fridge on and I didn't hear it start off, which I thought was weird. But then it turns out that it's already 34 degrees in there, so yeah, it's not going to run. With it. Snow is just hard packed. It's actually able to support my fat butt up on it. I don't know if something walked through here. It kind of looks like it. Hopefully the trail cams are still working. I haven't pulled the discs out of those yet. My, uh, I get some bad news though. Not the end of the world though. My uh, 12 year old sh uh, carport shelter thing was not able to take 10 inches of snow. So yeah, yeah the spine's broken on that guy. So I'm gonna have to dig that out in a little bit. Uh, no big deal, there's just firewood underneath here, so there's nothing damaged. Just keeping the firewood dry. We got some nice big old puddle of ice water right there. This is my commode. This is going to be very interesting tomorrow morning. Yeah, this baby's pretty much just uh, crashed. So you're wondering if this could be fixed. Yeah, this pole does not bend this way in any of their designs. And then it comes down here, and yeah, she's pretty much snapped. And uh, this happens several times throughout the uh, structure. Pretty surprisingly, uh, about the only tree I see tipped over is this one right here. Last year I had a lot more, but I guess they must have uh, culled out the weak ones. Well, this guy right here has been my chair for about the last two or three years. And I just decided, you know, it's time to uh, expand my seating arrangements a little bit. So I thought I'd go ahead and bushcraft me another chair. It might be a little light on bushcraftiness, but it is heavy on comfort. I'm gonna have to level that. Here we go, here's a waterproof match that was given to me by Renee Allen. I scraped some of the wax off the tip. Well, whoa, first try. Woof, I got a nice mouthful of sulfur. Now she says these will burn for 12 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and let this uh, catch a little bit before I stick her under the log. Probably edit out quite a bit of this. So I'm trying to walk. And look through the viewfinder at the same time. Somewhat less than anonymous Dave is ringing up his hammock. What's the temp going to be tonight, Dave? I think, uh, project down to 27, 26, 27. Yeah, it's going to be a little nippish. So, uh, you know what's funny about his nickname, Anonymous Dave? His name's really Stuart. <laughs> We're just going to walk a little bit more and we'll see how this works out. But yeah, this is a morning wood. This is parts that I've not taken the camera before because it's really tricky to walk on account of it's a freaking mountainside. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to crash myself if I do this much more. It's our derby time. What you got? There's some salamis and some crackers. Salami cheese. What we got going on here on my end is going to be some chicken spread and some salmon pate. Dave already gave me these French crackers, so we'll give those a go with the uh, fancy meat pieces. Okay. Poor people who have to wish they were sitting in the cold <laughs> eating meat spreads. Practicing being homeless. Oh my gosh. I don't even remember what I opened up. 
It doesn't matter. You can actually just tip it upside down. It's not going to fall out. It's yeah. just chicken spread. It's chicken. And the salmon. I wish this had a better... Oh, that came right off. It's all right. It looks pretty good, don't it? Oh. And if you're curious, this is the Deschutes Red Chair. This is a seasonal beverage. I normally don't drink beer, but it looks so attractive I had to get a pack. Special occasion. Yes. It was a day that ended in Y. All right, it's time to try something. And the something is gonna be the Happy Hour Pico de Gallo Salsa from Paco Gourmet. I've had this for about a year, so it's really time to make this thing. You basically you just add four ounces of water to the contents and then dip and eat. Here's a better look at the contents of the package outside of the box. Looks like basically a bunch of seasonings and here's a look inside the bag. I'll give her a snifferoo. Actually, it kind of smells like salsa, but with a, a very light flavor of salsa. I wonder if that's going to turn red when I add water. All right. I thought this was actually going to make a lot more salsa. There's like this much salsa in here. I'm going to dip in there. This is really tough to dip into also, by the way. This bag is deep. Can you get in there? Special design. It's not very friendly. <coughs> we want to cut that. Yeah, we're going to... Oh. All right, here we go. Bushcraft. <laughs> yeah, using my bushcraft <coughs> utility knife. You like that? That's pretty slick, hey? It's not photographically friendly. Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> he, he poured it right in my hand. <laughs> I can't believe you're gonna double dip? Is this your first time having salsa? Yes, yes I've never had salsa before. <laughs> Let's see if I can do any better. It's not bad. No, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I'm gonna hold the bag and then see maybe it's easier for you. Okay. We'll swap. We'll swap. Yeah, it's much easier if you hold it. Here's what she looks like rehydrated after we dipped into it a couple times. The tomatoes, the color did not come back. I don't know what the colors look like in the first place. Uh, there was a little bit of heat at the end. It wasn't too bad. Well, dawn is upon me and I got about three hours before rain or snow, so I better get cranking if I'm gonna be shooting some videos this morning. Thank you, Renee. <laughs> this stuff is like 32 degrees. All right, let's see how this goes. Here we go. Some real coffee in the woods. Very nice. To go multi-international here. I got some French chocolate crackers or biscuits out of one of the RCIRs. My hands are just freezing again. And I'm gonna use the rest of this sweet and condensed on one of these chocolate crackers and give that a try. Here we are, it's so cold I can hold this thing at a vertical and it doesn't slide down so And that really goes good together. If you guys ever get a try opportunity to try that, that's really good. Thanks, Renee.